On Saturday, 11th of February, 2023, the first Live Fab Asia Battle of the Bands Festival took place at Brahms Grove School in Bangkok, British school Jakarta was fortunate enough to be able to enter two bands to compete in the festival and showcase their musical talent. The Year 9 band performed in the lower secondary category and put on a stunning performance of Rosanna by Toto. Both judges and audience members were impressed by their skillful playing and dynamic performance, and the band ended up winning the lower secondary category. I'm extremely proud of what they've achieved, and to make uh, me even more proud was the, the time that they did it in. If we take our bass player, for example, in the Year 9 Battle of the Bands group, he's only been playing since November. So when he went to do the competition, he'd literally been playing three months. And it was amazing, the standard that he was able to play at. The drummer is, I've never known uh, a drummer of that age have that much talent. He's a machine, uh, unbelievable. Um, guitarist is uh, a character, to say the least. And then we have these phenomenal vocalists and, and, and outstanding pianists as well, who again have never played in that type of environment, had never played in a band, he'd always done some solo uh, piano playing. You know, being a, a, a judge, and being called a judge and judging someone at these competitions is always hard. It's always, you know, you don't want to, there's no judgment on them. It's a very hard thing to do when these young people are putting themselves out on stage they must be terrified to all of the people in the audience and then people judging their performance. They all, all of the bands were phenomenal in that, but there were a couple that really stood out and these guys were just one of those. Their musicianship, you can see that their, their, their schooling, their education, plus their own passion and their own skills, bringing all of that together just 10x as their performance. And to see them come together on stage, from the moment that they walked onto stage, they were extremely professional and together. Uh, we'd actually seen them the day prior as well in the sound check, and they were so professional there. Uh, confident, yet humble, and they were, they were just really good people. And then they got on, played their instruments, and we were all, actually all of the judges were wowed. And I tell you one thing, to choose the song that they played, when they announced that, we were all, all of the judges looking at each other going, okay, that's a heck of a song to play. That is a real song. And we were all maybe ready for it to fall to bits a little bit. And from beat one, bar one, they nailed it. And they were phenomenal. So the Battle of the Bands winners were um, amazing. Uh, the musicianship individually and also as a whole, how the vocal harmonies work together, how the rhythm section locked in. Um, so in all aspects of it, their timing, their presentation, their delivery to the audience, they were an absolute joy to watch. Our band, um, came together uh, with, of course, Mr. Tomlinson's help. Uh, we never really, I mean, we knew each other before, but we never really interacted. And we didn't really know about each other's musical abilities until Mr. Tomlinson brought us together. And it was just, it just went smoothly after that. We, um, we helped each other, uh, we practiced together, and we became friends. Uh, I think it's pretty much like the song choice because like the song we chose is like Rosanna and like has a really huge uh, drum bit and it's like pretty hard for drum as well and for the guitar, the bass and like everything else. And also uh, it's also like a pretty unpopular song so, like a lot of people didn't really know it so I guess like the judges had a lot of unbiased opinions. Mm -hmm.